Hello, this video is on relations. So uh, to begin, uh, let's define relation. So the definition, a relation is a set of ordered pairs or simply just a correspondence between two sets. Nothing fancy. So let's just take uh, a couple of sets. Say we have, we typically denote sets with capital letters. So we have set A, and notice the braces. So inside this set we have three ordered pairs, negative one, three, 2, negative 4, and 0, 1. So the set contains three ordered pairs, where set B contains 4. 2, 1, 2, 2, negative 5, 4, and 0, 0. Now, recall that uh, ordered pairs have the form x, comma, y. That's what they're denoted. So we've got a, some important notes to make, to be aware of, and they are the set of all x values is called the domain of the relation. So if you take all the x values in in your relation, uh, they make up a set, and that set we're just given this fancy term domain. Uh, the set of all y values is uh, called the range of the relation. So, for example, that we have here, the domain of a, the domain of a, it's a set, so what do we have? Just take all the x values. So we'd have negative 1, comma, 2, comma, 0. Those are the only three numbers that are in the domain of A. And the range of A, the range of A, whoops, would be just take all the y values. So you'd have, what, 3, negative 4, and 1. All right? So the uh, domain of B, so the domain of B looks like what? All right, well, here we've got some that repeat. So you got 2 repeats twice, we only need to write it down once. doesn't matter that it appeared twice. And then we've got negative 5, and then we've got 0. And you could, if you wanted, write these in, you know, order from smallest number to largest number, if you want. It doesn't really matter. And then the range of B, the range of B, would be 1, take all the y values, 1, 2, 4, and 0. So, given any relation, we can take out all, a relation is just a set of ordered pairs, we can take out all the x values of those ordered pairs, and that makes up the domain of A, or the domain of that particular relation. And then you take all the y values, of your relation and they make up the range of that particular relation. When you have a bunch of ordered pairs, it, it's fairly simple to see that. When we don't have ordered pairs, it's a little more difficult, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Uh, in general, this leads us into what's called uh, functions, which we will discuss in the next video. Uh, study well and please let me know if you have any questions.